948 is your time on this Monday morning and helping those who suffer through violence and abuse. This Friday, Palomar will host their Symbols of Hope Art Gallery. And in studio this morning to tell us more about this, we have Lindsay Cardone. Lindsay, thank you so much for coming in. Yeah, thank you for having me. All right, so tell us more about this art gallery. It's happening yeah. this Friday. What should people expect to see? Yeah, so um, yearly we do this uh, Symbols of Hope Art Contest. And so what it is is we work with our community schools, middle and high school students. We give them a prompt. Um, which we'll talk about in just a few minutes, but um, the prompt is to really have them have an impact on the survivors that we work with every day at Palomar. Um, and so at the gallery, you guys can expect to totally get to see all of the new um, art pieces throughout our community schools and really what they um, you know, came up with with that prompt this year. Absolutely, and this week is National Crime Victims Rights Week. Talk a little bit more about that week for people who are unfamiliar and, and what the theme is this year. Yeah, so National Crime Rights Victims Week is for individuals that have experienced violence, and it's really just an advocacy week. Um, this year, we actually were able to partner with them and be able to do their um, the call to action, which is how would you provide hope to somebody experiencing violence? So that's what the prompt was that was given to the students that participated in this year's art gallery. All right, and what were some of the responses that you got back? I know <sighs> you want people to go out and see, but just you know, kind of tell us maybe one of the artists what they what they came up with. Yeah, so we actually have um, one of our teen board members who's actually putting on this um, you know art gallery is through our teen board. And um, they actually used one of their champions that um, has always supported them through all things. So it was kind of a different approach of like, how would you provide hope? Um, but she was able to really showcase um, the hero that's really kind of been able to impact her life and get her out of her situation. Absolutely. Uh, this week, it highlights the progress that's been made. Talk to us a little bit more about the resources that Palomar provides. And I know you put on um, Camp Hope. Talk more about that, too. Yeah, so we do know that in our state, um, we have a lot of um, children who experience or have witnessed domestic violence. And so the Camp Hope program specifically works with teens and children who have been exposed to that violence. Uh, it's a mentoring component as well. So we do a five-day camp. Um, where we do fun activities, we do high adventure things. We're actually gonna get to go horseback riding this year, um, which is really exciting. Um, and then throughout the year, we do monthly reunions with our mentors and our kiddos. Um, we just do fun things together just to kind of be able to reconnect and have that time together um, once a month. That's um, critical, the year. right? Yes, very critical. Being able to have uh, you know shared experiences with people around you. I mean, yeah. those teens, I'm sure this, camp for them is is, is life-saving. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, and we do know that whenever kids experience domestic violence or have witnessed it, they are 70% more likely to become perpetrators um, themselves. And so having that intervention early on is so important and so vital, and that's why that Camp Hope program is so important. Yeah, absolutely, Lindsay. Yeah. So when and where can people find you all on Friday? Yes, yeah, so we will be at Peretz um, downtown. We are going to be there from 5 to 7, and our programming part happens from about 6 to 6.30. We're actually going to have one of our teen board members um, do a spoken word also after we do the awards um, for this year's finalist. Where can people go online to find more? More about this this art gallery happening on Friday and then also more information about Palomar. Yeah, so um, for information about Palomar, we are at palomarokc.org is our website. We're also at 1140 North Hudson um, in the Midtown area. And then for all information about this weekend um, is on our socials. So Facebook, Instagram, um, those are where you can find that information at. All right, Lindsay Cardone, thank you so much for coming yeah. on. This is a really important event that's coming up on Friday. We're going to put some more information up on our scene on section of KOCO.com for anybody who wants to come out and support, but do come out and support. Yes. We have more <laughs> news and weather coming up after this break.